And we have coming into the corner, Kwasim Shafiq fighting out of Team Falling Kazan with a record of two wins, no losses, no draws. Currently, he's undefeated in both of his pro bouts. Um, his last fight took a total of 38 seconds, and he won that with heavy back mount, being accompanied out to the cage with his teammate, the Cheesecake Assassin, who was very impressive with his flying triangle win here earlier in the evening. Now Shafiq has an extensive semi-pro record with a total of eight fights. So regardless of only having two pro fights, he is still well-versed and he is still experienced, which can uh, only be a plus for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been joined here at the commentary table by none other than O.J. Board. O.J., welcome to Bama 8. Well, it's uh, O.J. Board, thank you very much. But uh, yes, I'm just filling in for Malcolm Martin while he comes back from the bathroom. Uh, and I must admit, you have very comfortable chairs down here at ringside. Much more comfortable than where I sit. Now we're talking about two fighters here. One of them has brutal stand-up. Tom Brees, unbelievable stand-up. Talking about Tom Brees, He's never been defeated in his semi-pro or his professional bouts. And we are now joined once again by Malcolm Martin. Hello, Malcolm. So Malcolm, before OJ Borges uh, left the commentary table, uh, he made a very good comment in saying that Tom Breeze stand up phenomenal. And as we both know, He's been here twice before at Bama, both, town, both times coming out the victory. Yeah, but you say about the phenomenal stand-up, but if you look at both times, that was Bama 4 and Bama 7, Shahid Hussain and Lee Taylor, and they were both rear naked chokes, so forget the stand-up, the finishes of your submission. <laughs> well, that just shows you the versatility and the involvement of this fighter here. When you're talking about mixed martial arts, you gotta be able to do it on the stand-up as well as on the ground. Attraction three rounds in a battle of two undefeated welterweights. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist standing six feet even. Official weight, 170 pounds. His professional record is perfect. Three victories and no defeats. He fights out of Doncaster, England. Here is the undefeated Kasey Chauffe. And next is a opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. Also a mixed martial artist, he stands six feet, three inches tall. Official weight, 170 pounds. He too brings a perfect record into the cage. Two victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Birmingham, England, here is undefeated Tom Brees. <laughs> Referee in charge, Mark Woodard. Now, Pierre, one of the things we've got to mention here, it says, like, undefeated in three, undefeated in two. These are these men's professional records. They've got experience beyond that, haven't they? Most definitely. They total around about 20 fights apiece. And I tell you what, a lot of the guys nowadays are coming up through the amateur and semi-pro circuits here in the UK. By the time that they've come to a big platform such as Bama, they've already had, like, 10, 20 fights underneath their belt. And this is something you totally agree with, isn't it? I think that you need to get those pre-fight jitters, how to build yourself, not only physically as a fighter, but mentally through that semi-pro and amateur circuit. So yeah, I'm a big fan of those. Now, one of the things we also must say, Kasim Shafiq is well built at the weight, six foot tall, but Tom Brees freaky at the weight in terms of his height and his musculature. 
Yeah, talking about that musculature, he just wrapped those muscly legs around Shafiq. And he's got one arm in, so Shafiq should be able to defend this. However, Breeze looking to break it down to the ground. Very nice use of his legs to break the base of Shafiq. Maybe going for a 10 finger choke here. I can't see from our vantage point. And Shafiq is out. Yes, he looks a, he looks a bit ruffled there um, from that opening, but it's a point to prove six foot three at that weight and yet still so well defined. He's pretty solid, but look at that. Look at his length really coming into play here. He's really able to get those hips up high, use those long legs to bring Shafiq back down into his guard. Not only that, you can set things up and you can defend with those legs also. Bit of ground and pound though from Kasim Shafiq. As we said, the professional records may be in single figures, but these are two experienced men. And both guys are going to nice little short right hand to Breeze by Shafiq. Both guys are looking to defend that, you know, that undefeated record. That's right, Shafiq doing a good job here of getting past the lean map. He's got to be careful with those arms. Breeze doing very well, really, really working those hips, pushing out, trying to get the legs active, not going flat to his back. All of these little things that I'm mentioning are, are going to make the big things happen for Breeze. But you feel for, for Kasim Shafiq, if he's going to have success, it will be on the ground there because at, at height here, Breeze has shown he's, a, as you said, you mentioned his striking early, despite the two submission victories. When we looked at Bama 4 and 7, they were quick and comprehensive. But Shafiq went for a standing guillotine. Breeze immediately uh, took the takedown, and he's now in side mount position, looking to pop the leg up and over for full mount. However, Shafiq uh, was able to block that. Yes, and we're, we're halfway through the round now, and you've got to say that um, Shafiq has done enough to bring himself back into this fight, although I said it's Breeze again at the moment. With just over two minutes to go, this is still very even. Very even. Both guys have had their spots. Now, what I want to tell you, I find very impressive by, uh, about Shafiq. He's like a robot in there. I can hear his corner yelling out instructions, and he follows it to the T. And that's very, very impressive. And for somebody with only two pro fights, uh, that shows a lot of seasoning and experience. So again, you look at the length there of Breeze. That shows you very clearly the advantage he's got. Look at the power there from Shafiq. Was able to, in an awkward position, get back up to stand up. Finds his back up against the cage. Breeze has the overhook of the wizard. Looking possibly for an uh, inside leg trip, maybe an Uchimata. And he goes for the Uchimata, and he doesn't quite get it. However, he still has good positioning with that wizard. I'm picking up on something you said earlier. That also shows the strength of Shafiq. And right there, Shafiq just muscles him down. Almost like a bulldog type style takedown. And again, that shows the strength that you just mentioned. Uh, he looks to be a very solid, compact fighter. Right there, one small little mistake ends up with Breeze. Has the triangle dropping the elbows. Yes, dangerous moments indeed for Shafiq. There's 48 seconds, so Breeze still has the time. Now what Breeze is trying to do, get the underhook to try to tighten it up. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth submission from one, Mr. Breeze. That really was a cool Breeze there, Pierre. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at four minutes, 20 seconds, round number one. Submission by Triangle for your winner. And still undefeated, Tom Breeze. So some nights you come down, you never see a Triangle. Two in succession, a fantastic win for you. Yeah. Uh, well, talk me through your size. As a welterweight, you are humongous. I mean, do you find it easy to make the welterweight weight? I usually do. <laughs> Not yesterday, but I'll uh, do better next time. Okay, cool. Um, obviously, you're now 3-0. and Are you going to stay this way? Who do you want to find next? Yeah, I'm going to stay this way. 
whoever's next, I'll, I'll, I'll enforce, I'll have whoever, whoever wants it, <laughs> let's have it, you know what I mean? Well, indeed, I'll tell you what then, talk us through the end of the fight here. This is you fine here, this is where you took him down to the ground. Yeah, I just... He's a big guy, he's got a lot of muscle. I knew eventually he'd, he'd gas or give him... I'm quite tight off my back anyway, so I knew eventually I'd catch him with something or <laughs> whatever. I'm, I train everywhere. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you go. I think if you keep these wins on, you're going to get more of these interviews, you'll get better. I'd just like to say thanks to uh, my fearless family, man. Come on, Neil Perkins, Cash Banger, Cambi Banger. There we go, we'll let him go. Put your hands together for your winner, Tom Breeze!